Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Selkirk Auditorium. We thank you for joining us from the comfort of your own home during the most extraordinary of times. We hope you sit back, relax, and enjoy as the grade 12 drama class of St. Patrick High School proudly presents the Rainbow Fish Musical. For me? What a surprise. I guess you better go ahead and feast your eyes on this. Don't be shy. You know you love to watch us as we flow by because you need a little beauty in your lives. And that's something we're happy to provide. to mark us tardy. I can't go yet, Guppy. I have to ask my question. Again? Why do you keep doing this? Because... shine. Hey starfish, I think my scales are looking extra good so far. What do you think? Whoa, barnacles, who's that? Blue, 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 blue. <laughs> blue. It's me. Is that mackerel? It's the rainbow fish. Please. Oh, hey buddy, you haven't seen mackerel, have you? He owes us a sand dollar. No, sorry. Blue, blue, boggly, blue. I was asking how you like my show so far. Blue, blue? My show! You know how every day I swim around the reef so everyone can see my scales? Glimmer glitz! Shimmer shine! Oh no, we must have missed it. Typical us, am I right? Blue, blue, blue! blue. What? No, it's happening right now. Look, I swim around like this and all the other fish tell me how great I am. There he is! Rainbow fish! Excuse me, Rainbow hey, fish! Hey, look please? out! You didn't tell me the show had clowns. We are not clowns. Well, you are a clownfish. We are fancy fish. Clownfish is the president of the Reef's Garden Society. And I write the style and culture column for the Coral Chronicle. Oh, yeah. You're the one who writes all those puff pieces. Well, I never. Puffy darling, pay no attention to these bottom feeders. Rainbow Fish, the Garden Society is hosting a party today. And the readers of the Chronicle must know. Will the Rainbow Fish be in attendance? I don't know. Come now, Rainbow Fish. Society demands it.
attention Everybody loves me, I'm a public obsession The moment they notice They're floating in the presence of an iridescent moment Every legend, they go crazy They go crazy for me Ooh. And that's the way it's supposed to be ah. Cause we're amazing Like me. You're the cream of the crop, you're the tip of the top. Everybody looks up to me. And we're all so impressed by the way that you dress that we glamour incessantly. They all want a glimpse of me. The most beautiful fish in the sea. Rainbow fish, wait! Look at this little fish. Are you supposed to be here all by yourself? Well, I'm supposed to be in school. Huh. You know, I've never swum with a school before. There's never been another fish like me in the entire ocean. That's why I wanted to ask. I always see you swimming by yourself. Would you ever like to come swim with me in my school? <laughs> but I don't think I'd fit in. Oh, but you would. Miss Minnow says we should always try to include everyone. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm not everyone. I'm the rainbow fish. Who else has scales like these? Glimmer glitz. Shimmer shine. They really are amazing. Aww. We know. you are. You thought you could just come here and take my scales? No, I just thought you could share. You saw, you all saw that fish try to take them from me. Oh well, I'm looking for the rock. I'm gonna sit on which is the rock. I gotta pick one. Do -do -do -do. Okay, rock. Hang on a second. Rocks don't talk. Floobity bloop. Floobity bloop. Oh, Barneys, I knew it was you. Zooby zooby dooby kerplop. Hey, starfish, can you believe what that little fish just did? What? Who's that? Is that mackerel? It's the rainbow fish. Floobity bloop. Be bloopy. A sand dollar. You told us earlier. Right before those fancy fish invited you to the party. Hey, the party. You should go. It's a place for important fish, and you're important. Right. The garden party. Everyone will be glad to see me there. Sounds boring to me. <laughs> That's just because you don't belong there, starfish. You don't have scales like these. Let's bounce. Hey, Barnacles, why didn't the rock want to go to the party? Flew blue? It wasn't much of a pebble person. Get it? Pebble person? Zooby shooby dooby kerplop. I think everything's just about ready. Oh, clownfish, the anemones look lovely. Careful not to touch. They sting. My spine's straight. Let me see. Ow! You poked me. Sorry. Ah! Hello? Rainbow, Rainbow fish. fish? I thought you said he wouldn't come. I didn't think he'd actually show his face after what happened. 
Okay, just don't look at him, and maybe he'll swim past. Hey, hey look, look at, at us. us! What are you doing here, Rainbow Fish? You said there was a party? I'm here to be seen. You shouldn't be here, and after what you did... You wouldn't share a scale with that little fish. And you yelled. Hey, I had every right to yell. They're my scales. Uh-oh, he's yelling again. Look, Rainbow Fish, you just have to let this blow over. Maybe lay low for a while. Lay low? I don't do that. I'm the one and only Rainbow Fish. We just mean relax. I thought that's what I was doing. Oh, well, uh, we really need to get to this party. Who do they think they are? What do they think this is? Give away my scales? No. You're the rainbow fish. The most beautiful fish in the sea. Aren't I right where I'm supposed to be? Just a little bit above the rest. So they can watch me passing by. That's why they love you best. Up where my scales catch the light You're the wonder of the deep The shiny jewel of the reef You spend your life up in the light So everyone can see I never cared about games I never thought about friendship Why would I need it when I had everyone's attention? You've made your home up on the highest shelf How was I to know that I was by myself? Just a little bit of Because I'm the only one of my kind You know you're supposed to be The shiny jewel of the reef You spend your life up in the light Where else would I be? Right this way, children. Keep up now. Hey! That's a little fish's school. I bet you could lay low there. They're all ordinary fish. Very ordinary. They'll be so excited to see you. Yeah, that's right. Everyone will appreciate me there. Was he really mad? Yeah, I think so. He yelled and everything. Well, what you think was going to happen? He's the rainbow fish. I don't know. I just asked if he could share one scale. But he's the rainbow fish. That's like asking a snail to share its shell. Ooh, I get the heebie-jeebies just thinking about it. Hermit crabs share their shell all the time. This is a hand-me-down for my cousin. Yeah, you'd share your shell with me, right? No, but you're a sardine. You don't need a shell. Yeah, but what if sardine really wanted it? Why? What would you need it for? I don't know. Well, I'm definitely not going to give it to you if you don't tell me why you want it. Is everything all right over here? Sardine wants Hermit Crab's shell for something, but she won't tell her why. That's not what I meant. It's probably for some kind of prank. Sardine, that doesn't sound like appropriate school behavior. I never really wanted it. I'm a sardine. What would I need a shell for? I don't know, because you won't tell me. Okay, let's move on, shall we? Maybe a game? Eh, I don't feel like playing much today, Miss Minnow. Oh, dear. Well, you don't have to play if you don't want to, but I think it'd be more fun if you did. Yeah, come on. I want to play hide and seek, and it's no fun with just snail and hermit crab. Why? Because we're too good at it? No, because you only hide inside your own shells. Well, you need to count longer. Some of us don't move fast enough to hide in time. 
Okay, I'll play. All right, all together now. Glimmer glitz, shimmer shine, <gasps> rainbow fish. Rainbow fish, how unexpected. Are you here to yell at us? What? No, why would I do that? Mm, because the little fish asked you for a scale. No, I'm not here to yell. I'm here to swim at the school. <gasps> really? Okay, we're just playing a game. Oh, um, okay. Whoa, are you really going to play with us? Oh, I just said I would. But you never do. Little Fish asks you every day, and you usually just ignore her. He's here now, okay? We're just playing chase. Oh. oh. Uh. Rainbow Fish, what's wrong? Maybe he doesn't know how to play. Who doesn't know how to play chase? It's not that. <sighs> chase just isn't really my kind of game. Well, what game would you like to play? Yeah, teach us something. Okay, how about all of you go over there? This is going to be great. What happens next? Okay, now I do this. Aren't I beautiful? Aren't I beautiful? What's he doing? I don't get it. What's the game? Beautiful. He's showing us how to play. We're so beautiful. So watch it learn. And now it's time to take our turn. We play our game. Everybody look at me. Beneath the waves. See how I shine. A give and take. This is really, really fun. That's how we play. That's not how the game it's is played. To be. Look at me. I'm like the rain. You're all doing it wrong. You're all supposed to stay over there and be my admirers, not get up and do what I'm doing. But it's more fun if we all get a turn. Rainbow Fish, if you're going to swim with the school, you're going to- I don't want to swim with the school. I just want you to look at me. Don't you like looking at me? I think we should let Rainbow Fish have some time to himself. Well, we've tried everything. What else can we do? Hey, Starfish. Whoa, who's that? It's, it's the, the rainbow, rainbow fish. fish. Blue, 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 blue. The other fish don't like me anymore. They won't even look at me. Oh, hey, it's okay. Maybe you want one of my world famous hugs. Okay. All right, come here. How's that, feel better? To be honest, it's a little disappointing. Yeah, being disappointing is kind of what my hugs are famous for. You'd think with six arms I could give better hugs. Starfish, you only have five arms. What? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, right. Maybe that's the problem. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? Blue, blue, blue. Starfish, what do you think I should do? I don't know. You don't even have an opinion? It's really not my area of expertise. I can tell that you're down in the dumps. 
You're wrestling with a question that has just left you stumped. I wish I could help you, but I'm not equipped. I know what I'm good at, and this isn't it. What are you good at, Starfish? Cartwheels. Huh. But though I'm not up to the task, I do know who you should ask. The most qualified creature in the whole salty sea. And believe it or not, it's got two more limbs than... Wait, is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. It's got three more limbs than a me. Go ask an octopus. An octopus? Blooby dooby doop. An octopus? Look, I need real answers, Starfish, not a silly song. Flooby dooby doo! You're right! He's not getting it! Come on, everybody! Tell him! Go ask an octopus! Are you sure? Yes, we're positive! I told ya! And so we posit optimistically! What? No, dolphins are mammals. Besides, they're too silly. That doesn't mean they're not smart. True, but you don't want advice from a dolphin. When dolphins have to make a decision, how do you think they decide? I don't know. They flip a coin! Like this, heads or tails? Hmm, tails. Oh, that was a fluke. Ugh, can we maybe stop with the dolphin puns? What do you mean? Come on. A dolphin's tail is called a fluke. You had to know you were making a joke. Oh no, we dolphinately didn't do it on porpoise. You need an octopus. An octopus. An octopus. An octopus. You need someone to think outside the box because I need an octopus. That's right. I need an octopus. You got it. We're positive that that's what's best for you. When the consequence of your prominence is standoffishness from the populace, then an octopus will know just what to do. Hold on, how do I actually find an octopus? Oh yeah, that's tricky. There's one that lives in a deep cave out past the reef. A deep cave? Oh yeah, real deep. Out past the reef? Way out past the reef. Out there where it drops off and the water gets dark and cold, it passes the kelp forest and everything. I've never been out that far. I wouldn't worry too much. Fish who go out there almost always come back. Almost always? Floop. Have fun! Bye! It sure is dark out there, isn't it? Help.
go forward Though the way may not be clear I will learn to face my fear Out here on my own But back there Was I any less alone? Tough day? Yeah. You want to talk about it? Oh, uh, I don't know what there is to say. Well, would you mind moving a little to the side? You're right in the middle of our garden. Oh, sorry. Or you could help. Dig up that weed by your left fin, would you? Okay. Wait, what? What is this? Who's there? Who are you? I'm sorry. How rude of me. I forget that I'm camouflaged sometimes. Fish find it very startling. You're... you're... <sighs> Sorry for the mess. You caught me just as I was doing some weeding. I can take that back. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you. This is the octopus starfish was telling you about. Oh, really? Which starfish would that be? We know lots of them. Yeah, there's the one that taught me how to swim, the one who folds my clothes. Don't forget about the one who slices our fish. <gasps> Gosh, no. She lives in the reef way back there, and she's good at cartwheels. Oh. Does she give famously disappointing hugs? Yes. yes. Hmm. No, I've never heard of that starfish. But look. This is the cave she told me to look for. Lots of octopuses live in caves. I bet she also told you I was wise and I'd have all the answers to your problems. Yes! Then I'm definitely not the octopus you're looking for. That octopus sounds special and important. I'm just happy being me. I don't think it matters if you're special or important. I just... I just need help. So, I'd be more than happy to help you, Rainbow Fish. You know my name? <laughs> of course I do. Everyone's heard of the Rainbow Fish, with its beautiful scales and how he guards them so selfishly. What? Why won't you share with the other fish? Because if I gave away my scales, then I wouldn't be the most beautiful fish in the ocean. And that makes you happy? Being the most beautiful fish? Well, I thought it did, back when it was the only thing I knew. And now? Now, I think it makes me feel lonely. Then change! How? You think you need these shiny scales to be who you are. But they become some kind of jail, locking up. matter what you are, it matters what you can be, and you can be anything you want to. You kept yourself so apart, but drop your guard and you're free. You can be anything you want to. Because I don't know who I am without my scales. I've never been anything else. Before today, you had never left the reef. You had never crossed the ocean to find me. Look how far you've come. 
but I, I... Change is never easy In fact, it's usually hard But you have already made it this far And you may feel pulled in both directions Cause love is a two-way street But ready or not, if you give what you got Then I promise that you'll get what you need It doesn't matter what you are is what you can be You can be anything you want to You kept yourself so apart But drop, drop your guard and you're free Cause you can be anything you want to fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. Rainbow fish? Rainbow fish. Look, it's that little fish. Oh, what is she doing here? Please don't be angry. When I heard you left the reef, I got so worried you weren't coming back. I had to come find you and make sure you were okay. You swam all the way out here to find me? Through the dark and the kelp and the cold? Yeah, because I'm really sorry. I know you're leaving because of me, but I don't want you to go. All I've ever wanted is to be your friend. That's why I asked for a scale. I thought if we shared something like that, maybe it would mean we really were friends. <gasps> really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Really? I can't believe it. You know what? Neither can I. Something strange is happening Like a knot is caught in my throat But now the knot's unraveling And I feel an incredible rush of hope I was afraid that if I gave away my scales I couldn't be happy anymore But now I see the happiness they bring you and I feel better than I ever have before Oh, what an incredible feeling I can't believe I never knew Gotta get a little more of this feeling Wanna share a little more of myself with you Feel it in your heart, feel it in your soul This is how we start to be a part of the whole The more we share, the more we care The more the feeling grows Would you like one too? <gasps> really? Yes, everyone can have a scale. <laughs> you get a scale, you get a scale, you get a scale. Everybody gets a scale. <laughs>
Thunder Bay. I'm Julia Buckin. I'm Tessa Duraco. I'm Ellie Jane Williamson, and we are the student directors. Thank you all so much for watching our musical production of The Rainbow Fish. Staging a grade 12 play has been our dream since we began drama in grade 10, and we are so grateful for this opportunity, despite a global pandemic. A production of this magnitude is not possible without the help of an entire community, and that's what we are here at St. Patrick High School. First and foremost, thank you to our entire administrative team at St. Pat's and especially to our principal, Mr. Coster, for allowing us this opportunity. He heeded our every request with nothing but a smile on his face. We will miss you and wish you the best in your retirement this upcoming year. To our grade 12 drama teachers, Miss Beach and Miss Del Paggio, your constant hard work and dedication never goes unnoticed in the arts. Your passion to this class is what made the production so successful and we cannot thank you enough for your constant guidance, support and love. To Miss Nadine, thank you for your creativity, direction and commitment to making our show spectacular. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. To our classmates, thank you for the commitment you show day in and day out, especially with most classes being online. What you accomplished in such a short amount of time is remarkable. We are so proud of each and every one of you, and we are so honored to have been your student directors. And to Margan Paula, who created the spectacular Rainbow Fish costume and helped us bring our visions to life. You have always been so committed to our program, and we thank you so much for everything you continue to do for St. Pat's Drama. A huge thank you to Matt, Brian, and Patrick from Westport Productions. They are the geniuses behind the camera that helped us bring this show to life. Another sincere thank you to Tyler from One Island Productions, our audio engineer who recorded and mixed our classmates' voices so you can hear them beautifully on screen. Alongside Tyler, we would like to express our appreciation to Ms. Tassoni who assisted us during the recording process. To all of our schools within the Thunder Bay Catholic District School Board, thank you so much for watching this show. We hope it brought a smile to your face and warmth to your heart. And finally, to all of you at home, you are the reason theater thrives in our community. Thank you for watching and thank you for supporting us time and time again. We hope the message of the Rainbow Fish resonates with you for years to come. Be kind to one another and give back to those around you. It's a feeling like no other. Thank you, Thunder Bay, and good night.